Good morning. So today, I wanted to make a quick video just to um, show you guys how I get these wheels polished. Um, I've already done three of them. They are Corvette C4 wheels. Is that bud? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost ate some shit right there. Um, yeah, you like this, huh? So yeah, so I'm just gonna... Uh, show you guys how I get these wheels polished uh, nothing too crazy just uh, uh, a little bit better than what they are right now um, since I do want to put them on my uh, the Jetta so yeah um, I already did three of them they turned out decent level can't go in there. Neither can I. Hi. No. <laughs> I got it. Maybe if I use two hands. Oh, there you go. Close this door. That was a struggle. Hello, baby. Hello. So, yeah. Yesterday, I did uh, three of the wheels. And this is how they turned out. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. I did spend, like, maybe two hours doing them, so. Definitely worth it. But I saved the fourth one because I want to do it a little bit different. Bye, baby. Hey, puppy. What's up? Ah, oh, shit. That door. That door is. Oh, man. I probably need to use this more. And I'll struggle less with that. Anyways. You. You just. Hi. Do you want to be the face of YouTube? There. Okay, he said go subscribe. Quit being a female dog, but yeah. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting that wheel ready, and then um, show you what I come up with. All right, so this is what I'm going to be using for this wheel. Uh, this is things that are super uh, cheap and, you know, you don't got to spend a lot. You don't got to send it to a machine shop or a wheel repair place. I don't know, to get it polished. Don't eat my table. Do not eat my table. By the way, this is my fucking CRV table, which comes in pretty handy. I love it. <clears throat> You love it too. Um, so I purchased this um, Mother's Magnet Aluminum Polish for uh, $9. And it works really good. Uh, steel wool or yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, had some laying around. And then this, uh, I purchased this cone. Uh, it's a Mother's 360 cone for polishing it goes directly on your drill um it was the most expensive thing was this it was about um thirty dollars oh hi are you stuck they want to come out here but anyways uh it was about thirty dollars for this one which is the most expensive part of this um the reason i the reason I bought it was because when I'm done with this wheels, I eventually want to get this one's polish, and I'm and I need it for the little grooves on the mesh. So I guess 
it was kind of an investment in the long run. We need a drill. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. I, two microfiber towels. Um, quit eating my table, dude. Stop. Wow. I'm watching you. Anyways. Hey, he just doesn't give a French fry. Uh, Lobo. Quit. Please. And they think we're playing. Anyways, um, so yeah. So what I did was just give it a quick scuff. Actually go into more detail, but you get the idea. Then I get one of the rags, which I was using this one right here. Just grab, get some compound, spread it evenly on the wheel. Once I have the compound, the polish on the wheel, then just use your drill and your uh, buffing pad, polishing pad, cone, and hit it a couple times. Also go do the little, the lip and this little areas right here. And then yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up right over here. And then I'll give you guys a little show of how I do it, which is my way. Okay, that looks freaking good. I love it just because it's, it's a quick little job. I did it at home with just little stuff that I had here and there. Um, I didn't strip the, the, the clear on it. So I kind of just did it over the old clear. And I think it looks rad. I think it looks pretty sick. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Not bad for 20 year old wheels. Only one with the curb rash right here. But I can probably fix that. It's not terrible at all. So yeah. Um, if you guys like the video, please feel free to subscribe. Um, this is the first video I do. Um, there will be a lot more videos um, related to the Jetta. A lot more videos related to the um, the build of the Jetta because I will consider it built. It's currently getting a new motor. Uh, it's getting a, a Mark IV VR6. It is a 12 valve. It's from a GTI 2001 GTI. It's a 12 valve VR6. Uh, it's rebuilt from the bottom all the way to the top. So. Um, the old VR6 that was in the car was perfectly fine. It's just needed to get the change done and kind of made more sense to source out another VR6 that has all of that 
done and swap it in there and so yeah uh well as soon as i get the car back there'll be more videos constant videos but for now this is what i've been doing uh kind of prepping wheels that i want to throw on there as soon as i get the car back so please feel free to subscribe share like comment i appreciate it y'all have a beautiful day